Hi, well, welcome to another Cape Conversation. I'm Melinda Gallant. Oh, we've got a great show for you today. It's with a fabulous medium who has an office in Osterville. I'm very excited because I don't really understand this. So come along, let's have a Cape Conversation. Well, I am sitting here. I'm so excited. This is so much fun. I'm sitting here with Rachel Perry. Hi, Rachel. How are you? Hello. Now, what is, what is your title? Because if I said to you, you know, psychic or something, is that the correct title of what you do? Are you a psychic? Are you a medium? Are you a small, large art? <laughs> Well, I am a medium. Okay. And the rule of thumb is every medium is an automatic psychic. Uh huh. However, not every psychic is a medium. And the difference is, I a medium is someone that connects to the spirit world. Okay. And people that crossed over. Uh huh. And a psychic is someone that you, you know reads the person's aura. They do um, cards, uh, uh -huh. tarot cards. They uh, see predictions and, and what have you. I and see. Both are very powerful, however. Uh huh. So I am a medium. So in and other, I have both gifts. And you have both gifts. Yes. So. Um, and you're also married to that fabulous, good-looking attorney, Rob <laughs> <Yes>. Mills. <laughs> Is that correct? Yes, yes. <laughs> Wait a minute. Psychically, I knew that. <laughs> Very good. Yes, I'm, I've got my own talents. Um, and have you ever done your medium psychic work on him going, yeah, right, that's what you're thinking, but no, but you can't read thoughts. Uh, Is that it? I try. He blocks me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we don't go down that so, road. <laughs> so can that happen? Can you get blocked by someone? Like if their personality is really bright and big. Yes, and they can if, if they, um, you know, don't want to hear the message or I if see. they have some fear in them or if, I see. you know, yeah, so people, you know, are able to block, absolutely. Well, so I'm, I assume as sitting here that you, you can see like 48,000 people around me right now. Well, um, I didn't tap. I, I didn't ask Spirit to come ah, okay, today. Okay. But if you want to, we can. <laughs> okay. Well, maybe at the end we maybe should at do the that. End, so. Maybe we should do that. That would be kind of fun. And I think probably people watching would like to see how this all sure. works. Now, you know, I you're a beautiful. You look like a beautiful young woman to me. Do you, you do you have children or no children? Yes, I have two. You have two kids. Okay. I have an 18 year old that's going to Suffolk University. Wow. Yes, she's studying. You have an 18 year old. Yes. Well, she's you studying when you were two? pre law and business. <gasps> wow, great. And I have a 10 year old. Oh my goodness. And he goes to Mashby. Oh, mm -hmm. excellent, excellent. So. When did this happen to you? I mean, you know how they'll say, well, somebody got hit on the head and now they can see things. I mean, is that what happened to you? Or did you just wake up? Have you always been able, like a little girl, you could see things or feel things or hear voices, which... Yes, I'm now that I look back at my childhood, things make sense. I was raised Catholic, uh -huh. so... Um, on Cape Cod? Or on somewhere? Cape Cod. Uh -huh. I'm born and raised on Cape Cod. Uh -huh. Oh my I, gosh, a real Cape Codder. I attended St. Anthony. Uh -huh. um, catechism and what have you, and mm -hmm. East Falmouth, and I always saw a spirit, but I didn't really know or understand what it was as uh -huh. a little girl. Uh -huh. uh, my sister also used to see spirit a lot. Mm -hmm. So I, I think as children we can push it away, especially uh -huh. when they don't teach us this in school or, or it's, you know, right. you just push it away. Right. It came back to me when I was about 27 years of age. Really? I was uh, with my daughter, Alyssa. She was about, uh, I don't know, maybe five years old. And I saw my brother standing in the living room. I was living in the house that I grew up in mm -hmm. on John Parker Road uh -huh. in East Falmouth. Mm -hmm. And I was wasn't sure exactly <laughs> what to make of it. Well, had your brother passed away? Yes, yes, yes. He passed when I was 18. He did? Oh my and goodness. And so I kind of kept it to myself for a while. Uh-huh. And I couldn't make Well, yeah, because people would think you were crazy. And I would have thoughts and I, again, I couldn't make sense of it because mm -hmm. again, I was like, and I would know things before they would happen. Mm -hmm. Like, not just vague mm -hmm. and it just if 
I decided to investigate this gift. Wow. After talking to other people that uh -huh. understood it, and I met a wonderful woman who taught me the tarot cards. Oh. And um, she said, my goodness, Rachel, after two weeks, you're really doing great. You know, you're doing some nice readings. I would practice on the phone with yeah. my sister's friends. Yeah. But there was something else happening. I was bringing through spirit. And um, my path led me to Reverend Rita Berkowitz. I hold her very close to my heart. She changed my life. I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for her. And where, where is she from? She's in Norwell. Uh -huh. And she teaches mediumship. Right, but she's a minister? Yes, she's a reverend out of the um, Quincy Spiritual Church. Uh -huh. And she, I found myself at that church. Also and her last name is Berkowitz. Berkowitz. Isn't that funny? And I found myself also at the Onset Spiritual Church. Uh huh. Too. So I, I seeked out the spiritual churches, uh -huh. and boy, it's been nothing but uphill ever since. Is that right? It, it's just changed my life. Wow. And um, well, I, what did they do? I mean, I, what did um, Reverend Berkowitz do for you? Did she? Well, we all have this ability. So okay. You, you mean me sitting yeah, we here? We all have this well, ability. You know, I know we all think that sometimes when the phone rings, and I've had a couple of occasions, the phone will ring, and it won't necessarily be late at night, but a phone will ring, and I'll think, oh, there's something bad happened. I think we've all done that, and, you know, it's a little, or, you know, as the deja vu thing, you know, we something happens, you go, wait a minute. I we this all going have to this ability. Mm -hmm. Your third eye is a muscle. It must be used. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. It's in mediumship, it's like a talent. Mm -hmm. Some people can just hit the piano, just a few keys. Some people can play three songs, and then some people can play like Mozart. Wow. This is mm -hmm. just, I like to think of it like a talent. But we all do have the ability to connect to the spirit world and our psychic ability. Mm -hmm. It's very natural, but you have to learn to use your third eye. Well, so what did um, what did Mrs. or Reverend Bur not Mrs. but Reverend Berkowitz proper title? <laughs> uh, what did she? I mean, what what are some of the th are there exercises? Yes, there's exercises, um, and you sit in a circle, uh -huh. and she just you know she explained a lot what was going on, things that I could relate to, uh -huh. and uh, we did exercises, and it I just took off. Wow! And it was it is effort. It, it doesn't take me much effort to um, connect to the world of spirit. It really comes is, natural. Is it scary? No. There's so much love that comes through mm -hmm. when I do a reading. It's unbelievable. Not only does the sitter get a healing, mm -hmm. but so don't I. Is that right? I absolutely love what I do. There's mm -hmm. not a day that I wake up that's a, that I love what I do, and mm -hmm. I can't believe that I'm doing it sometimes. Mm -hmm. And the people that I meet along my path are so amazing. You're one of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I go to England also to study. Oh, you I do? I just came back from England. Oh, yes. Now, wait a minute. You told me that. that yes. You to, I um, want to go. Last year, I went to the Arthur Finley College of Psychic Science. It's wow. a mediumistic. It's in a huge castle. And where is it? Where is it located? In Outside Stansted. Of Stansted, which is um, around London, Northwest. Yeah, I don't somewhere. know. I'm not sure. You have to Google it. Uh, yeah. But it's the uh, it's on one of my links. It's mm -hmm. uh, the Arthur Finley College, and I just came back from Eastbourne to study mm -hmm. with Glenn Edwards, which is amazing. He was absolutely amazing. Um, and R Reverend Rita Berkowitz again sent me there. Yeah. Uh, and uh, again, it just keeps getting better and better and better. That's amazing. That truly, truly is. So, so, so again, so you sit in a circle, you just get all the thoughts out of your head. Is that, I mean, you know, so that. You want to, you, you want to sit in the power. Mm -hmm. Okay. I guess to describe it, it's like a meditation, but you want to, again, sit in the power, surrender, try to get your thoughts. Mm -hmm out of the way and just let spirit come through. In the beginning, it might feel like it's your own thoughts. 
-hmm. but it's not spirit. You have to build a trust. Mm -hmm. Okay, so so you you calm yourself, you center yourself, and you let the spirit come through you. And you said that that sometimes it's your own thoughts. It, in the beginning, it of, is? for a beginner, mediums, uh -huh. Uh -huh. It, it feels like it's your own thoughts. Mm -hmm. Okay, it feels like your brace is raining, racing. Excuse me. They they come in really fast. Okay, wow. and so it's like a movie screen. Wow. I see, taste, hear, feel spirit when I'm working. Okay, so would it be a spirit that you have made connection with in the spirit world? that always the same spirit always comes to you or would it be a different spirit? No, because depending? when I'm sitting with a client, I'm it getting be, their relatives. Ah, okay. I see. So I see. you know, sometimes I might smell their perfume. Uh -huh. uh, sometimes I might feel the illness that they had. Uh -huh. Um I'll see what they look like. Uh -huh. uh, I I'll hear what they're telling me. Right, right. Okay. But when I hear, it's not always their voice. It's my own voice. It's your own voice. It's my own okay. voice. Okay. And, and that's cl I, I, my clearest sentience kicks in and I stop feeling. When I'm really connected with spirit, mm -hmm. I, I developed my own language with spirit. So when I'm working and, I just, and I'm getting cold mm -hmm. and I feel like a little tingling on the back of my head, I mm -hmm. know that I'm getting real connected. Oh, I see. I don't remember my readings. Oh. I don't remember the people that sit them? with me. Do you take people them? People take notes. Sometimes they Sometimes tape they them. Do. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and do you... Um, My voice changes also sometimes. So do you channel? Are you a channeler? Channeling, yep. It's channeling. It's, it's, right. Yes, so it's, do you channel? But do you channel... I knew one time of a gentleman who channeled somebody from, you know, hundreds of years ago. And that was his person that would talk through him and, you know say things and whatever. I, I can do that but I'm sitting with a person so we're channeling and I'm mm -hmm. connecting to spirit I for the loved ones. I'm proving the continuity of life without a shadow of a doubt. Okay. Oh, okay. I understand now. You feel when spirit comes. You're the sitter does feel also. They'll, mm -hmm. they'll get real emotional or will uh -huh. become real happy. It's, it's amazing. It's the change in the room. The right. temperature will start to change. Is that right? Yes. Well now, you know, have you ever I don't know, help someone get through a difficult situation by channeling their rel their past relatives? Yes, that they've written back to me saying that I have help. Yeah. And now when I'm doing the reading, yeah. I don't know. I'm just, I'm out of the reading. I step out of the way and yeah. let spirit work. And it through. has nothing to do with me. Is that right? I'm just, I'm just the vessel. Um, so, do you have a lot of clients? I mean, I'm, first, how do you build a business? I mean, you're a small business. <laughs> you're what That's Obama and Mitt Romney were talking <laughs> about it during the debates. You're the small business person. So, but it's a different kind of business. It's not, you know, you're not selling shoes. You know, you're, you know, a, a product. But you are selling a product, and and really, it's. It's being able to be in touch with one's feelings, I, I suppose. Yeah, it's serving the spirit world is what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. And, and, and how do you get your clients? Word I of mean, mouth. Is that it? Just yeah. word of mouth. Yeah. Once someone sits with me, yeah. they experience it, and then they go and tell their friends. Now, do you do it on the telephone as well? Or yes. do you do it just on, you know, I so you have clients? I read people in California. I read people all over. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Wow. And how long is a reading normally? A person usually comes to me for an hour. I see. And, and Sometimes they come for a half hour, but normally, because time flies so fast, they usually take the hour. It's right. like getting a massage. Yeah. Uh, and do your kids have this ability? I would think so, yes. Yeah, but they haven't. I th they again, haven't. I told you we all have this ability. I know you did say that. <laughs> we I don't all think I do. have this. <laughs> <laughs> you just... Yeah, so it's... They're it's, being kids right now. If right. they choose to embrace it one day, yeah. they can. Yeah, So, so they, don't, they don't go, oh, Mom, you're not going to tell me this again, are you? Because well, sometimes I, they do. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have that, an 18-year-old, remember? Right, well, that's true. It, it was that a great Aunt Betty <laughs> says, you know, told you that I've been doing something bad. It was a lot of fun <laughs> the last four years with her. Yeah, well, a girl especially with her <laughs> yeah. mother. Yeah, I, I've been there, so I, I do understand yeah. that for sure. <laughs> so, okay, so if 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 I were a client of yours, how would I? How would you approach 
how would you approach well, this it? This is how, a, when, a, when a client has never sat with me before, uh -huh. I, they, I sit here, they sit in the chair across uh -huh. from me. Mm -hmm. um, I ha got into a routine of holding a piece of jewelry if they have it. If mm -hmm. not, I may grab their hands for okay. a few minutes to connect. I have them take a few deep breaths, be open, and see I what begin happens. the session. I begin the session, and I bring through spirit. I see. And I ask them, "Do you understand this?" It's a yes or no, and we continue. I, it's it's really I don't. They don't tell me anything. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, do you want to do it? Can you do a mini one? Okay. Do you want to? Okay, we can. All right. All right. I'm going to sit right here, though. Is that okay? Yes. All yes, right. All right. Fine. You got a hand, so you want to hold a piece of jewelry. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. I see you. I feel like I have two spirits with you, but I'm going to go with a man that I see that's with you. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling like he's a father energy on the father side of the family. He's coming in very, very strong. He's talking about his lungs. Mm -hmm. So he's, he's showing me that, um, oh, thank you. He's showing me that he was a smoker and he's showing me that there was emphysema in the lung area. He keeps showing me that he, um, yeah, my throat is filling up too. So the cigarettes uh, were really... Um, something in his life. He's he's telling me, he's showing me the brown hair. He's showing me that he's about 5'10 in height. I get a medium built, although a little stomach. He's telling me that he died in his 60s when passing, like 68 years of age. He, he He's coming in very strong as if he's your father, and he's saying that he loves you so very, very much. Mm -hmm. He's saying that you forgot one thing, that you <laughs> well, were not... That wouldn't be the first thing. You were not... Uh, you were not created to become enlightened, that you are enlightened, mm -hmm. that you were not created to become triumph, that you are triumph. And he loves you so very much, although he was kind of um, distant sometimes. And he had a hard time showing love. And he's just saying that he's on the other side working with you. And he loves you so very much. And he keeps talking about your brother. I tell your brother hello. And he says something about your birthday coming up real soon in a couple weeks. And he says, happy birthday to you. And he keeps going, Mel, 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 as if he wants to give you a nickname. He keeps saying about his hat, too. Like, he, he liked to go out in the boat and fish because he keeps showing me a fishing cap with him. Mm -hmm. Does this make sense to you? Yes. And do you understand the J name with him? He keeps giving me a John. A I, Jason or a John. He keeps giving me a big initial with the J. The J, yes, but not those okay. names. Okay, Jeff, Jeff, and Maplewood Street. He keeps giving me a street called Maple, Maplewood, Maple. Maple Ave, Maple Ave. Thank you. Are you planning on moving? No. There's some type of move that has to do with Maple Street, Maple Ave. Mm -hmm. Can you understand this? Okay. Okay. And he says that he's your grandmother's here also on your mother's side of the family. Well, you got a lot of it right, for sure. If he's and who's Mary? She keeps saying Mary, 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 Mary. Like, it keeps going on and on and on. So we'll, I'll leave you with the blessing of that because uh, I'm switching gears into another uh, spirit. And I'm going to, there's two other people in this room, and I feel like... He's stepping back to allow me to go to this gentleman across from me. So mm -hmm. we're gonna, I'm going to let them go because I can really get started. Right. I do large audience type of mediumship. Mm -hmm. It's called platform or group gathering. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if you've ever seen James Van Prov. Oh, sure. I do that type of mediumship. I've I actually see. taken some classes with James Van Prov and Tony Stockwell. Mm -hmm. And so... Um, and again, Reverend Rita Berkowitz trained me in that type of mediumship also. I see. So what happened just now was you got in your mind's eye, for lack of mm -hmm. a better term, for a layman, let's I say. I began to build the en energy. I see. Okay? Mm-hmm. It was a starting to build. 
It was mm -hmm. just the beginning. Mm -hmm. That was just a little tiny splash, but it was just the beginning. So sitting with me for an hour, it gives me time to build the energy. Right. We have to build the energy of mm -hmm. the spirit. Mm -hmm. And then I have the spirit come in as if I'm dressed, like I'm, I'm, I, I like to like go into the spirit as if I'm the spirit and I are like one. Mm -hmm. I'm being in the power, sitting in the power. Mm -hmm. So the energy there, just started to build. Right. Okay. So there are no. I mean, so there are. We we know that we have a film crew with us here, mm -hmm. and they're sitting here. So, <laughs> so you also and I've got some messages for you. <laughs> Well, there you go. Because your father is allowing me to go over <laughs> here. <laughs> so, um, so that's what happens. In other words, they kind of all flood in. If there are more than, if there's more than one person, they all kind of flood in together. Well, like I little... do grab one communicator at a time. Okay, I see. Yeah. but this was took me by surprise that you wanted a reading today. So, yeah. Yeah. you know, the world right. of spirit is of higher intelligence. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So there's a special loved one here for these two. So they're just kind of kind of together. They're, they're here, here today. Right. Yes. I see. I see. You all will get a message. I see. I see. You know, I see how now. I, I I kind of understand how it works. I think. Um, so if um, if I wanted to contact you, what I know you're. We are sitting here mm -hmm. in Osterville. Um, would I phone you? Would I go on your website? I know you have a yeah, website. Yeah, you could call me. You right. could email me. I see. I see. You know, www.rachelperrymedium.com. Mm -hmm. I see. And, you know, have you ever worked with, you know, sometimes mediums work with police departments and those kinds of things on, you know, tragic cases of missing people and, and what have you. Have you ever done that? Yes. You have? Yes. But I don't really like to talk about it. Okay. So. Mm -hmm. All right. It's just something personal, that's all. Yeah. So, and it could be probably very disturbing, I would imagine, too. It's a lot of hard work, and it's a lot of energy. Uh -huh. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a fairly new medium. I've only been doing this seven years. I see. And I'm not a James Van Prov, but he's very well right. known. So, you know, but yes, I have. And um, I'm hoping maybe one day I could go into the police department and teach them how to use their psychic eye. Because right. when they're working on a case, you know, spirit's working with them too. Right. And I'm a strong believer if they're attracted to the law enforcement, especially a detective, they already have the gift and they call, they're calling it intuition, which is fine. It is intuition. Right, right. But I bet you I could show them a few things. Well, do you think women, <laughs> speaking of intuition, you know, they always talk about women's mm -hmm. intuition. Do you think women are better at this than men? No. I no? think we're equal. You do? Yeah. I think a human being is a human being. And if you can step out of the way and yeah. allow the spirit world to work with you or your intuition to come in, it is what it is. And will they... When they come to you, or for instance, you said, you know, a man came to you for me, my father, and, and I will tell you, he was about 5'10". He, he wore hats, but he never wore a fishing cap. Okay. Uh, he was a farmer, so he wore a, back then they used to wear fedoras, even oh, okay. when they were farming, so it was a fedora. Okay. But he also, he, he smoked a lot. Oh, yeah, the cigarettes yeah, were. Yeah. And it was non-filters, too. And he did, too. right. And yeah, non-filters. He died at the age of 69. Oh, so. thank you, 68. <laughs> thank you so much. Do you understand so, the chain name? I do. I'm married to Joe. Oh, okay. So okay. maybe that's thank it. You. That yeah. He always liked him, so Jay, yeah. I've known Joe so a long much time. love, and I and I wish we had more time mm -hmm. so you could see me build the energy. It's really amazing. But I I'm quite. A, I mean, you can't Google that I had a father who died at 68. You no. know what I'm saying? No. So no. And, and I and still I think he thinks he died at 68, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> if he wants to think that, we'll let him. It's true. That's true. It's like my mother, but we won't go there. Uh, she had. She always had a wrong her her birthday on the wrong day oh. and her year of birth was the wrong year and she did it on purpose so it's quite funny. I'm getting funny. a month August around you by any chance. Mm. She gave me a big eight. Yeah. Spirit just gave me a big eight. Yeah. It's, I don't know. Remember I said that. All right. It might mean something to you. Okay. Are you writing a play right now? 
Um, going to, yes. Because it's going to happen in August, a big eight. A big eight? Uh, yeah, okay. that means August to me. So remember I said that. Okay. It's going to be fantastic. I'll call you up again. Oh, my gosh. Yes. <laughs> Excellent. Well, you know, Rachel, this has been very, very interesting. This is a very calming place for sure. I don't know whether, I mean, I could, you know, sit in the chair or lay yeah. down on the couch. You could do a whole thing over me for sure. But it's very calming in here. You have a very calming personality. And it's been a pleasure talking with you. Oh, thank you. And thank very, you. very interesting. Thank very you. interesting. And uh, I wish you the best. Thank you. Thank you for taking time today. Wasn't Rachel Perry fantastic? And I have to tell the truth. She knew about my dad. My dad died at 69, and he, he did have lung issues because he was a smoker, um, as many men uh, of his age and time were. So, uh, and she had a few other things as well. And for some of the other people in the room with us that were filming this, very exciting stuff and very interesting. I don't get it, but it was a lot of fun. So anyway, I want to thank you for joining me today. And Come along next time and we'll have a Cape Conversation.